All right, here's my first cell prototype. And what I'm gonna do is, with my testing, I'm gonna pick out the best ones that worked with the particular metals that I'm using. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna start out with uh, chlorine. Not much hopes for it, but I have copper and aluminum in there. And over here, it was a little bit better than a volt. We'll see, I don't think you could charge it. We'll find out. But anyway, I wanted to show you this before I actually put chlorine in it. Show you how I made it. It's basically a very simple design. Uh, copper plates, aluminum. These are eyelets on the top where a bolt just goes through it. Nothing is touching each other and I had to put straws on the aluminum plates just to make sure it's not t uh, touching any of the copper. Anyway, how I made the copper was I got a copper tubing. This is like 7 eighths. I used an air chisel to cut a line right down it and I just hammered it flat. They're not perfectly straight, but I'm also going to make um, plates out of regular steel and zinc. Well, I'm going to have to use galvanized because I, you know, zinc is kind of hard to get. But anyway, I'm going to put this together and put some chloride in it, or chlorine, make that, and we'll see what she does. All right, using pool shock, and right off the bat, almost a volt and a half. When I first poured it in there, it was probably like 1.3. I'll let it acclimate for a little bit, check back later. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. It's at 1.7 volts. We're gonna try and charge it to two volts here, see what happens. Let's see if anything happens. Oh. Let's turn the amps down, 1.74, okay we're teetering, let's turn her up a little, 200 milliamps, 1.8, doesn't look like anything's happening in there, that's a good sign. We got now. Let's turn her up a little more. Well, maybe. Okay, three and a half milliamps. Three. Well. One eight six. Nothing seems to be happening. I guess let's let's see if we can go to five hundred milliamps. You know what, let's leave it there. All right. All right, 1.92, just for the hell of it, let's disconnect it and see what happens. Oh, she goes right back down. She goes right back down. All right, I think I'm all done with this cell or this test anyway, uh, this is acting weird. I got a light hooked up here and when I touch it, you'll see the voltage drop and then it picks back up. It barely lights that light in there. I have to turn the light out to see it. And then it drops and the light goes out. Actually, I never tested it this far though, actually to see what it would do how far it would go down, if it picked back up again or not. Okay, looks like it's not going to recover. We just hold it on there for a little bit. All right. Looks like it'll just stay there. And then I noticed, well here, I'll take it off once. You'll see it recover again right away. But I noticed in there on the plate, it's starting to form like a green uh, corrosion.
developing. Uh, you probably won't even be able to see that.